I came out of university in about 2006 with a bit of a degree and a bit of a foundation year, which is like an access course. And um, I had to live in Oxford for a while near my mum because I wasn't very well, to be honest with you, for quite a while, uh, with mental health problems, unfortunately. And um, I lived in a mental health hostel, which was just horrible. And the staff there weren't, weren't very cooperative and helpful at all, really, to be honest with you. Since going to London, uh, my life has changed because I've been given more transferable work skills and more sort of life skills as well, like dealing with problems and and improve my self-confidence as well. His self-confidence has grown immensely since the time I've been here. And, uh, you know, it's a clear indication of what the world of work can offer our people. I was introduced to one of the board members at uh, Langdon and in conversation I mentioned that we were looking for an administrative assistant and I was introduced to the man who runs the employment uh, organisation at Langdon who came and talked to us and said well he's got just the guy for us and brought Simon along for an interview and he fulfilled the criteria and so we've hired him and he is a great asset to the company because he does his job so very very well uh, he is very uh, much liked and adored by everybody and he's very much part of a team the sort of work our guys can do is exactly the same as anybody else in normal society. And I say that even though they have learning difficulties. There's no limitation that we put on our people in terms of job opportunities. Simon has been volunteering at the museum since August last year. He's a great asset to the team, he's very personable, he's very good with working with the public, which is an important part of his role here, answering questions about the displays and what the museum does. He's very eager to help and we value his role and he's, he's a great person. The national average, as far as I'm aware, is something like one in every ten uh, people who suffer from learning disabilities has a paid job. At Langdon we're currently running at 25% of our Langdon people in off-benefits work which is quite impressive. I also volunteer at uh, my local Cubs and Scouts in Edgware and I've been doing that for a few years now. I also um, work in the charity shop um, once, every, every, once a week every Sunday as, paid, pay, as a paid job I evolved from a volunteer into a paid for a member of staff. Simon as an individual, as far as I can see, has grown immensely. Working is important to me because it um, gives you a purpose in life, like to get up every morning and to meet new people and um, to sort of follow my interests and learn new workplace skills as well.